two, three, oh. Finally, we're wrapping up the show once again here at the National Comedy Center talking about the comedy festival that's going on this weekend and some of the very big names, Journey Gunderson, that are here this weekend for it. Yeah, it's one of these lineups that is some of the best who are still performing comedy today with Margaret Cho, who Rolling Stone named to its list of the top 50 stand-up comedians of all time. Uh, she's tonight at the Reginald A stage. We also have Jeff Foxworthy, who uh, still holds records for the Blue Collar Comedy Tour. And whether or not you identify as a Blue Collar Comedy fan, he is well respected in the industry as being one of the finest craftsmen and jokesmiths. And so to see him live on stage is an opportunity not to be missed. And what an opportunity to have all of these people coming here because it isn't just a place to appreciate comedy. It, I think we've talked about this before. It's sort of a home for comedy and comedians. That's right. We were officially designated by the United States Congress as the cultural institution responsible for preserving comedy's heritage and telling its story. So visitors now uh, can experience comedy's history and the present day story of the art form in a museum that is so much fun. Most people leave and say, wow, I didn't expect to laugh for four hours straight in a museum experience, but I just did. Uh, and it's been so much fun to preserve artifacts and archives from legends now like Carl Reiner uh, and become the preservation home for greats like Johnny Carson. Yeah, and the celebration of comedy, obviously, this weekend going on, but next weekend there's also something very big. You mentioned Johnny Carson. Yes, so after the comedy festival concludes, one week later we are proud to be cutting the ribbon on the new Johnny Carson immersive experience with our hologram host, Jimmy Fallon. Uh, we'll be celebrating the ribbon cutting of the Carson exhibit on Saturday, August 13th with a stage show called Carson Tonight, which features acts whose lives were changed by their appearance, appearances on Johnny Carson's Tonight Show. So that is going to be an incredible night in comedy history itself, right here in Jamestown, live on stage. Uh, tickets are still available at ComedyCenter.org by clicking on events. And you can also be part of the ribbon cutting of an exhibit that celebrates 30 years of late night 30 years later. I mean, people uh, will come to understand in this exhibit that Johnny Carson really set the template and the format uh, as we know it today and really reigned as the king of late night for 30 years and how appropriate that we now stand in front of what has become one of the most recognizable artifacts in entertainment history. Yeah, this is such an iconic piece that you have right here and, and you mentioned we were talking earlier about how many people walked through this curtain and they changed the world and their own worlds as well. That's right. In addition to Johnny Carson being an amazing comedic talent in his own right, we were introduced via Johnny Carson to some of the biggest and best names in comedy right in front of this very curtain. This curtain was used on The Tonight Show from 1969 to 1987. And so when you think of who uh, made their first debut on an American television stage during that time, we're talking about Jerry Seinfeld, George Carlin, Richard Pryor, Roseanne Barr, the list goes on and on. And so The Tonight Show's ripple effect in comedy's history is really unmatched and that's what you'll learn in this exhibit hearing directly from people we interviewed for the exhibit including Steve Martin, Martin Short, Bette Midler and more. It's just an iconic piece and of course we could talk more and more and more but we have to leave it there. Journey, thanks again and thanks everybody for watching us today. I'm Kate Welshofer. Be well, stay well. We'll see you next time.